Hello Pepperdine faculty. In this video I'm going to show you the basics of using and navigating through the Advisor Center for My Advisees, the Student Center, and Academics. Let's begin by logging into WaveNet. Ensure the View As is set to Faculty. Navigate to the Faculty Services and click on the Faculty Center. From the Faculty Center, select the Advisor Center tab. The My Advisees sub-tab will display a list of your assigned advisees. Above that list is a legend for three possible indicators for each advisee. The boxed red X indicates a release advising hold. The red star is a positive service indicator and a hold or negative service indicator is represented by the red circle forward slash. Looking at the rows for each student listed, a notify checkbox on the left allows you to selectively email multiple students. Use the button at the bottom of the, of the list to notify selected advisees. To the right of the notify column, three unnamed columns are used to display the release advising hold and the positive and negative service indicators, respectively. Next, in the name field, each advisee name will be hyperlinked to individually email that student. To the right of the ID field, there's a hyperlink to view student details, and under the DAR column on the far right, a button to run the degree audit report for that student. Using the DAR button in this view provides a quick access from the My Advisees list. The Degree Audit Report provides an analysis of academic progress for that advisee. Use the return links at either the top or bottom to take you back to the My Advisees list. The View Student Details link provides a view of the Advisee Student Center. Within the Advisee Student Center tab, you can access their class schedules, degree audit report, grades, enrollment shopping cart, unofficial transcript, transfer credit report, to name a few. Now, let's take a comprehensive tour of the Student Center. Starting from the top, if there's an advising hold, you'll have the ability to release that hold. You may click the details link to view a list of current holds along with the instructions on how to clear the holds. Select the cancel button to return. Once the advising hold has been satisfied, click on the button release advising hold. Left click on the service indicator to view the details of either the positive or negative service indicator. Click on cancel to return. At any time you may change advisee. Use the drop down to select another student and be sure to left click the change button. Use the view guest access link to view who if anyone has been granted a guest access by the advisee, thus giving you insight as to what information may be shared and with whom. In the Academics section, use the My Class Schedule link to view the advisee class schedule in List View. Select the term, then continue. Note in List View, you may change to Weekly View or simply select the Weekly Schedule link from the Academic section. Select Cancel or the Student Center tab to take you back. Note by clicking the class icon in This Week's Schedule, you'll be able to view the academic calendar deadlines.
The shopping cart link allows you to view your advisee's planned classes for an upcoming term. The Other Links view provides a pull-down menu to select the advisee's course history, degree audit report, grades, an unofficial transcript view, and a transfer credit report. Select the Go button to open that view. The course history provides a summary view of the course number and description, the term, grade, and units, as well as the status indicators for the classes taken, the classes transferred, and the ones in progress. Note the display options and the ability to sort results. Note the Select Cancel to return. The Degree Audit Report selection is an alternative means for selecting your advisee's degree audit report. The Grade selection allows you to view official grades from the selected term and provides a snapshot of the statistics for that term. The transcript view is an unofficial report of the advisee's program history, external degrees, test credits, and current grad and or undergrad career records. The transfer credit report will list any course credits or test credits. Select Cancel to return to the Advisee Student Center for that student. Moving on to the Personal Information section, here you can obtain a quick view of the advisee's contact information and a link to any emergency contacts that they may have entered. Note, if multiple contacts are listed, there will be a check mark adjacent to the primary contact. You may click on the contact name to view the emergency contact detail. Back in the Advisee Student Center to the right of the Academic section, you'll be able to view a summary of any holds. In addition to an advising hold, you may click on the Details link to view transcript hold details or any other hold item and communicate the instructions on how to clear these holds. Select Cancel to return. The To-Do list will identify any current outstanding to-do items. Click on the More link to view the advisee to-do details. In the Enrollment Dates pagelet, use the Details link to open a view to select a term to view enrollment appointments and enrollment dates by sessions. Any other advisor the advisee has will be listed and the details link provides contact information for that advisor. The Academics tab provides a complete academic summary for the student, including their program, their major or plan, term summaries, class lists, grades, and statistics, or GPA. Note at the bottom of the My Advisees list, use the View Data for Other Students to search for a new drop-in advisee. To find another student, use the Find an Existing Value search to enter any information you have on the drop-in advisee. This function will narrow the search results and present a list of all advisees with the matching criteria you entered. Select that Advisee link to get you to their Advisee Student Center. When finished with the drop-in Advisee, you may click on the Advisor Center tab to return you to My Advisees. Or, if you are finished, be sure to log out of WaveNet. That's it. Thank you for watching.